<laughs> Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. We're almost there, people. It's almost Friday, almost. Uh -huh. Not quite. Uh, we've got Ali Moreno. Are you working tomorrow? Here with me. I am working tomorrow. <laughs> I am not, okay. <laughs> you can put your feet up. I saw you with your feet up earlier, actually, watching the games over at your desk. Um, Stevie, Shaka and Yana with us. Shaq has got a cheeky look on his face that I think he heard <laughs> during the show, uh -huh. you um, calling some goalkeeping errors Shaqastrophic. Well, Shaqastrophic, but he knows that there are levels okay. of Shaqastrophic. There is Shaqastrophic, yeah. Shaqastrophic mm -hmm. Deluxe, there is Shaqastrophic de Deluxe Elite. Royale, that's the next <laughs> level. There is Shaqatrocious as well, all relate to Shaka himself, and he knows it very well. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, nothing I from Shaka just yet. I do. No, no, no. Well, nope, nothing. Nothing Bye, the opposite that. You know what? Nothing. Bide your you time, Shaka. You You'll get your chance. Bide your time. You say it, you say it best <laughs> when you say nothing at all, Shaka. Uh, oh, no, no. All right, <laughs> boys. All right. I did see Shaka. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait a second. I did see Shaka attempting to juggle a ball in one of our promotional uh, spots. That we I was had. there that day. I left early just in case. Man, Just that was him the embarrassment. That was embarrassing. <laughs> the clown shoes he was wearing were not helping. I will say that much, but it doesn't feel like the shoes were That's the what difference. They told me to do, Ali. They said five seconds. They said just keep it oh, for five seconds. So they told you to fail miserably. Okay, good. You did you know that what, very Shaka? well. <laughs> Let's get him in goal and see how he fares, shall we? No. No. That's right, Kay. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's shooting, Shaka? Uh, meanwhile, apologies to Boyzone fans. Jan, was it Boyzone or was it Ronan Keaton on his own? It might have been Ronan Keaton on his own. But anyway, yeah. let's get on with the question, shall we? A uh, question for Ale from Vidang says, Why are people hyping the fighting spirit Barca is showing under Xavi? As a player of any club, aren't all players supposed to show the fighting spirit, irrespective of the manager? Also, do you think Busquets and PK are a liability in this squad? Right. It's a really, really, and I mean really low bar for a team like Barcelona that part of what Xavi is bringing to this group is that they're working hard. Come on. Man. Working hard is the bare minimum. There has to be much more from this team in order to show <coughs> growth in a group of players that, as talented as they may be, now they have to be productive. It, it, it's great to feel optimistic about the future of Barcelona, but what about the now? What about this moment in which you're struggling to get into Champions League, into top four? What about the moments in which you're out of uh, Copa del Rey, out of Supercopa de España? When are you gonna see consistent, good, solid, productive performances out of this group on their shabby? That is the challenge that's ahead for them. All right. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm just looking at the next question. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Lord Rhino <laughs> says, should Sancho be looking to move out of Manchester United in the summer? I'll ask you that one, Jan. Of course, you have to ask me about Sancho, <laughs> which, because I talk about him every day in one year. So every game he doesn't play well, it's, it's on me. Uh, now, I think that coming to Manchester United at the moment is very hard for any player. And he, he just shows that he's a young kid and he hasn't... I don't think he had landed 100% or I mean, a lot of people don't, don't think he has landed really. It's a difficult time frame. Of course, he shouldn't leave in the summer. He should be patient and see that which manager will come in this summer if there could be more structure in the team. That will also uh, be good for him uh, in, in Dortmund. He had, the, the funny thing about Sancho in Dortmund, he suddenly had like three, four months where he didn't play well and then he was excellent again. So I haven't given up hope and the Manchester United fans should neither. He could come, and he will come w very good. Are you ready to see him come good, Shaka? Do you think he can? I think he can. I I'm with Jan fully. You don't, you don't give up on a young player this easily. Listen, it, it hasn't been good. It hasn't been anything close to good. But as, as Jan points out, a new manager, maybe a new system, a new sense of, sense of, of, of importance um, for, for, for Jadon Sancho, and, and maybe see him come back, come back to his best. I, I, no, no, no. This is way too early to be discussing whether Sancho needs to be moving on this summer or not. There are some questions that keep me up at night, and one of them, Ale, is uh -huh. who's better at juggling, oh. Sancho oh. or Shaka Hitler? Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that left foot. Oh, no. <laughs> the technique is all wrong. Everything is wrong about this. It was Listen. out of control within yeah. five seconds. He gone. See you later. 
kick you up. <laughs> but, but boys, but boys and girls, we have to be honest. Shaka is from a generation of goalkeepers that, thank God, didn't have that back pass rule. Did you, Shaka? <laughs> <laughs> Stevie, will you be disowning Shaka striker, after yeah. seeing this? I, I was a goalkeeper and a striker. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. All he had to do was catch it, and he could catch it, so he's all right. Exactly. It wasn't fair that they even made to do that, Shaka. It wasn't fair at all. Well, he he kept it at that. <laughs> he kept it at that. Just catch it. Just follow the That's instructions, it. Key. They I know. They didn't want me to intimidate our viewers who were going to thinking about entering the competition. So they said, don't be too, you know, don't you be too flashy that? with it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you, wouldn't have won the competition. Yeah, you, you really what, what? undersold the level of the competition, Shaq. You know what? Yeah. Shaq was looking out for you all, right? Shaq, have you, have you what? told us? <laughs> you certainly did as you were told. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Which is the they first used, time for anyone say, on this show. They used right. to say of some players back in the days, they say his his second touch was a tackle. But I think that Shaka took this to a new level. <laughs> 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 All right, Jan. Ao says for club in for clubs in search of a striker. Why isn't there more talk about Patrick Schick, considering Lewandowski is the only person who scored more than him in Europe's top five leagues? Good question. Uh, I think that when when you compare it with a Lewandowski or a, or a Haaland or whoever, I and mean, if you go to then Germany, he, he's not that extreme enough. As you're saying, he is a good striker. He scores his goal, and he was up for the Puskas Award that every Scot will 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 of course not. But also that he has had a lot of movement last couple of years, uh, and now he's just uh, arrived in a new. His new club is in the first season there, so he won't be linked with too many clubs. And I think that he is comp he's a great striker with just between two chairs. So, uh, good player, but not the most wanted at the moment. All right. Uh, Stevie, what's the difference between the national team dressing room and the club dressing room? Mm, good question. Mm. Well, listen, the national team... I know they get together a lot more now, but in my day, you're probably talking five or six times a year. And so if you think of your club team, there's all kinds of in-jokes and things that you talk about constantly, people that are wound up about the same things. All of those things are hard to, to get when you're only meeting up six times a year and probably Probably two of those six, it's the same people because there's always somebody coming in and out. There's always there's always a change of face, so it's it's very difficult in a dressing room that's settled. There are all kinds of in jokes and stuff going on day to day, whereas you know you just don't get that with the international side. Did any, anybody have a, a fun well, international no, dressing room? <laughs> we had a fantastic in the 90s because we, we, we had a team that played together for six, seven years. And we, one of our strengths was that we created that atmosphere that Stevie was talking about. The biggest challenge sometimes for some nations is that if you come for two or three big clubs that they were probably used in Germany with Gladbach mm. players or Co Cologne players or Bayern Munich players, they could make clicks. And I, th I remember back in the days also for England, when you had the Liverpool uh, gang and then you have the Manchester United gang. And I, I think that is the biggest challenge being a national coach to avoid those clicks. All right. I'll start with you here, Ale. Mm -hmm. Benzema and Vinny or Lewandowski and Muller. You have a game tomorrow against very good opposition. Who are you picking? Right now. Right now. Tomorrow. Lewandowski and Muller. Why? I love me some Vinicius, but I don't love him as much as I do right now, Robert Lewandowski and Thomas Muller. That's very anti-Madridista. It's not anti-Madridista as much as it is that I'm not talking about the next decade, I'm not talking about the next few years, I'm talking about right now, and it's hard to turn away from Lewandowski. And Thomas Muller, in, regardless of what game you play, whether that's in your backyard and that's Allianz Arena, this guy, the ball will bounce off of 10 people and it's going to fall to him in front of the goal. 
he's going to score the game winner for me. It's not even going to be Lewandowski. I know who Jan's going to go for. I mean, I think we all do. <laughs> Shaka and Stevie, would anybody disagree with Lewandowski and Muller? No, Stevie. Yes. Yeah. Just because, or really? Yeah. Oh, really? Go on then. I tell you what. Vin Vinicius Junior. Every time he gets the ball, you do that. How many people do you do that for? You don't do it for Muller. You, you don't. don't you, you don't, don't do really it for Shaka do doing kicky ups. No, but I, but I, but I think well, it's, it's a fair. I try, I try and turn the TV off when Shaq is doing that. So <laughs> I, would, I would go Benzema and, and Vinny Jr. Right. I think it's a very. Uh, yep. I mean, I, I won't do it only because of the German thing, Kay. I, I will do it part of numbers. I mean, the thing is with, with Thomas Müller, and I love that movement you had at Stevie. What happened to you when you see Junior? I think that was fantastic to see. <laughs> <But> hey, <laughs> and, 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 and it's very true, you don't do that with Müller. But if you see the career of Müller, he doesn't look like a top star. He doesn't look like a superstar at all. But no. he makes assists, he's no. winning trophies, he's scoring goals. I mean, so I would probably do like this there or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not so, but I mean, you're, you're using history here as well. So Vinny's got a few more years ahead of him. Good, if I mean, we're going yeah. by that, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Jan, for the people it's not who. Not a bad answer. Uh, no, there isn't. That's, that's true. It wouldn't be a bad pick either way, would it? Jan, for the people who did not get a chance to watch him play, what was Beckenbauer like? <laughs> it seems like I played against him. I don't that old, but yeah, uh, one of the first player I followed. <laughs> Uh, uh, first of all, you, you should start with, there are some players who are, who are taking uh, football to a, new, to a new stage. You have the Smeichels of this world or Neuer, goalkeepers doing that. He invented more or less what they used to call sweeper. He was a libero. And he was one of those people who started from the back. He always wanted the ball, very elegant on the ball. This is a time when the defenders were not elegant at all. He was a big, big leader uh, and never, never in stress. I mean, I saw Van Dijk tonight. He doesn't look like he needed a shower after the game. Beckenbauer never showered, showered in all his career. Uh, and uh, he, won, uh, he won the World Cup as a player, as a coach. And he took the German, uh, Germany, got the World Cup as a leader as well. So successful from A to Z. And looking like he never needed a shower after doing it as well. I gotta be honest with you, over his long career, if he didn't shower, he would have been pretty stinky. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna... Beckenbauer and stinky can never go together. <laughs> never. <laughs> That's true. I'm just saying. That answer stinks, Ella, all right? That's what can go together. This is a nice question from Sahil Patel. Stevie, I think about the 05, 06 and 07 MLS Cup losses and it makes me sad. Can you please share a funny story about that squad to make me feel better? What about the O2? Bad question. What about the O2? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, actually. Actually, we got after the, the day after the game. So we get on the bus, we all trip on the bus. And of course, everybody's down, everybody, nobody's saying much. Um, we get to the airport um, and we didn't have our tickets and the and the lady got us all together and was calling out the names for the tickets. And we had a guy called Jorge Flores. And just from nowhere, the girl shouted, George Flores. <laughs> and it just completely, it just completely took the air out and everybody started laughing. <laughs> so, so from then on, he was called, we used to call him George. Instead of Jorge Flores, it was George Flores. So every, every morning, every time we went to train, I was shouting the teams out for the five aside. I'd be like, uh, Taylor Twelman, George Flores, and... <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a nice one. Uh, Do you remember George yeah. Flores? <laughs> no. <laughs> I sure don't. What a player he was. <laughs> um, listen, before we go, I actually, the reason I paused earlier is because my producer reminded me, and I didn't understand at the time, yeah. that there was a second part to the first question that you oh. didn't answer. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Do you think Busquets and PK no, are a liability the in the Barca squad? Wait, I mean, so we're cycling back <laughs> yes, to that? Yes, we are. <laughs> that important to you, huh? <laughs> Very quickly. I, I do think that Busquets is becoming a liability. Uh, 
Piquet is hanging on as best as he possibly can, but Busquets at this point, yes, has become a, an issue for Barcelona. All right. Well, that will do it for the latest edition mm. of Extra Time. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you oh, for your questions. So glad and glad we'll leave you with this. Oh boy, what control! What control? When did you when did you feel like you were out of control, Shaq? I think you know juggle number three control was gone. <laughs> don't be intimidated. I just don't want to scare any kids. Don't you be intimidated. Well, you must, have, you must have got a feeling early on, Chuck. You must have got a feeling early on it wasn't going to end up yeah. too well. Right? When you he picked up the ball. It. When he picked up the ball, yes. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. He has PFC available daily. Tomorrow we'll be chatting alone. We, we love you, Shaq. We love you. <laughs>